Hey guys, I just wanted to say that from this moment onwards, I will stop making any more TCG videos. Uh, the series is done and we're finishing with video 150. And by extension, I'll also stop making Genshin videos because I only played Genshin for the TCG. Uh, now the reason for this is because... Eh... Nah... Uh, I, I guess I should give proper reasoning. Uh, reason number one, and the biggest one, is that the game has stopped being fun. Uh, for me at least. Uh, the primary reason for this is the instant effects that you get nowadays. You have instant draw, instant dice, instant heal and so on. Uh, well, that in itself is not a problem. The problem arises from the deck design that people have to do. Since if you don't use these mechanics, then you're at a disadvantage compared to the people that do use them. Uh, long gone are the days of playing a couple of action cards, doing a switch and like a couple of attacks per round. And you know, that sort of gameplay was the gameplay that got me interested in TCG in the first place. It, it wasn't all this instant effect shit. And like, of course, I can follow and keep track of all the effects and all of the dice and all the calculations, but you know, doing such mental math is, is, is exhausting and it's not very fun either. Like, why, why do we have to do all this math, you know, to play just simple game? And also knowing that your character can die at any point without you being able to do much is, is also just simply not fun. Then the second reason is that I just hate MiHoYo's methodology of adding new stuff. Whenever they add new stuff, they make them overpowered compared to the old stuff. By, by a small fraction in most cases, sure, but uh, over time it does add up. I won't go into the arguments here, but the power creep is real. Consider how many times the new stuff has been nerfed and then compare that to the amount of times the old stuff has been buffed. I simply abhor this methodology and this sort of treatment of the game where the old stuff is outclassed by the new stuff. Uh, then the third reason is that there is simply nothing else to do for me. I have already did a video showcasing around 1 bin with 30 health. Uh, I have tried loads of different challenges with, you know, mixed successes and, and you know, there's just simply not that many other ideas left. I mean, I, I could do more of the same and I, 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 I could make something up, but but I just find that sort of thing kind of lame and, and boring and it, it's, it's not really what I'm after. I, I was always after interesting games and interesting plays and, and that sort of thing. Not really challenges, but you know, no, nobody does interesting sincere. plays, nobody does interesting strategies, interesting mechanics. And then the fourth and final reason is that I failed at achieving the kind of content that I wanted. Uh, what I wanted to do with TCG is content that's uh, timeless, classic and, and that would push the current boundaries, but at the same time would be suspenseful, entertaining and abundant. Uh, and fundamentally I have failed at this, my content is cheap and easily replaceable. Uh, now there is one more argument to be made as well, which is the numbers argument. Um, as you all know, TCG is not popular and it will probably never be as popular again. Well, it was never a numbers game for me since I was always playing for fun. Uh, having good numbers makes everything easier, whereas having bad numbers, you know, is, is not very helpful. Over one year and two months, all of my TCG content has received as many views as this one another video that I made in a few hours. So while having bad numbers is not a detriment to me, as, you know, I was doing it for fun, problem is that I am no longer having fun and I cannot use these little numbers to justify using my skill set and to keep going. Fundamentally to me, there is not one single fun element of TCG left. If it's not fun, why bother? So that's why I made the decision that I made. Uh, now let's talk about what comes next. I'm not really an integral part of either the TCG community or the Genshin community, so me leaving will have zero impact. Genshin impact. My influence is insignificant, so there will be very few who will miss me or care, so no problem in regards to that, with one big exception, my own Discord server. So henceforth I will be transferring ownership to Zen, and I am shifting all the responsibility onto him. Uh, he can do whatever he wants with it. Also, please don't tell him that he's the owner now, he doesn't watch my videos and I wanna know how long it will take for him to figure it out. Uh, in terms of unfinished projects, I won't be updating TCG assets past version 4.8, uh, somebody else can do that. Extracting Genshin assets is not really a difficult thing to do and you know, it's also not like very many of you had a use for these assets anyway. 
Uh, I will also not be extracting all of the TCG animations anymore since I have no proof that anybody else besides me found them useful, so if nobody has a use for them, there's no reason to bother extracting them. I'm still gonna keep them archived for now, but uh, you know, if they get deleted over time, I won't bother replacing them, so you might as well download a copy if you really want to. So that about sums up the Genshin part, now in regards to the YouTube channel, uh, expect the output of the videos to be reduced by orders of magnitude. Uh, I still have some videos cooking in the oven that I haven't gotten around to yet, uh, mostly shorts, so you will get some videos in the near future, but besides that expect there to be much less of them and also don't expect Genshin and TCG content. Uh, I will also be shifting my attention to producing videos on a different YouTube channel under a different name, and I won't tell you what that name is, and you won't be able to find me. But, uh, you know, it's not like I'll be dead. So I'm still likely to upload some stuff here from time to time, and it will mostly be me testing stuff or either some funny stuff that uh, I happen to come up with. I have no real plans, so only time will tell what will happen in the future. And that about sums it up. Uh, leave a comment in case I forgot about something, and I may or may not respond. And have a good day. Uh, I will not see you. I am outplayed.